a sila mother very interesting we have to discuss this sila mother means there may be someone who may be intoxicated because that person practices sila what is sila s long i l a sila what is sila to you sila means discipline not the precepts huh? some people think precepts are the sila precepts are additional activities to make you discipline normally or generally we say sila is the calming down of your body and speech sila cannot calm down your thoughts that is subsequent to the sila uh, so body and speech now when you practice sila now at the moment you may practice sila with precepts not killing not stealing not uh, sexually misbehaving not lying not taking uh, food and beverages to a point that you will uh, not make a sound judgment there may be someone who might think see other people you guys are killing you guys are stealing sexually misbehaving and lying and uh, breaking the fifth precept i am better than all of you that is a sila mad what does it say even the good dhamma practices can also lead you to a certain intoxication be very careful even the good things not the bad things good things practicing sila is a good thing but it can lead up to a certain akusala another pali word for that uh, extreme level is sila bata paramasa it's not here see labbata paramas which means when you are practicing unnecessary seals too much seals it is going to give you a hard time what is an unnecessary seal unnecessary seal was practiced by niganta nata puttas followers how did they practice they said we cannot walk without a broom if you walk here you must carry a broom why there may be tiny uh, creatures on the floor so they always carry a broom wherever they go we don't have to wear clothes why if we wear the clothes we have an attachment to the clothes so let's be naked <laughs> i mean jeans are naked you see in india well respected by the people actually people very much like those extreme people even in india even the jains are going being naked they will respect us see these guys have no attachment to the clothes that is extreme seal just because you wear a cloth it doesn't mean that you are having greed for the clothing buddha is very he is in the moderate he is in the middle he did not go to the sides if you can afford go to a branded shop buy a branded uh, clothing what's the problem if you cannot afford go to a generic shop buy a clothing the important thing is whether you have greed towards what you are buying not you affordable to buy those clothes or whatever but for the jains no you cannot just avoid all the clothes just be naked that's the basic that is an extreme way of following seal and they said let's not drink water without boiling they didn't know that they, when they are boiling they are killing all the bacteria in the water so they said when you draw water from the rivers lakes don't drink without boiling now when we are boiling water be there an electrical kettle maybe a pan are we looking at it ah i am going to kill all the bacteria in the water or i am going to drink i am going to drink good water what is our understanding i need to drink good water just to keep my life when you are drinking a syrup maybe for your cough maybe for your flu are you taking the syrup or the medications in thinking i am going tonight i am going to kill all my virus and by the, by the morning i am going to be a 100% healthy guy healthy person who is going to do that nobody is going to do that they are going to take it uh, 
by tomorrow morning I want to recover from this sickness. But if you are doing as such, it can be Akusanda. Right? Can be. Because by tomorrow morning, all my bacteria, my sore throat, my flu, my cough must be gone. I know there are bacteria attached to these things. So I must kill them. That's Akusanda. It's the way how we look at it. But James did not distinguish this problem. They said, no, you must uh, boil the water. You must bring a, a what do you call broom wherever you go. A lot of, so that kind of sealer is unnecessary. Now say for instance you are driving on a highway, maybe a freeway if you have it here. And then all of a sudden there is a cow coming onto the oncoming. Maybe to your, to your side. And you are thinking, I'm a good Buddhist. I never kill an ant. So I cannot hit this guy. Now you are going to stop your car as much as possible. Now what will be the problems with this stopping your car on the highway? There are many cars coming behind you. And then you are going to create a very terrible crash on this road. And they are going to crash onto you. Just because you want to avoid the cow, you are jeopardizing, risking all the other people. Many people are going to die from behind. Even in the road manuals, they say don't stop your car. As a Buddhist, what you are supposed to do? If we can, we are going to avoid. Otherwise, we have to go. We don't have any other choice. But our intention is pure. I'm looking at a bigger picture of this event, the bigger picture, not this small thing. The bigger picture is I want to, uh, I want to make the best decision at that point. But for the James, no, they stopped the car. Maybe they walk out from the car also, go out of the car. They are creating lots of mess on the highway. Right? We are not that kind of extreme beings. Our sealer is. They are to go to the Samadhi, not just to uh, end up as an extreme sealer. So, let's say you are practicing, you are disciplining you well, but don't go to extremes and don't become intoxicated or infatuated because of your sealer. Now, think about the Atanatiya Sutta. Have you ever read about this Sutta? Atanatiya. One of the chanting, uh, chanting suttas in the uh, chanting book. When the Buddha was teaching um, yakkas, the five precepts, the yak some, some yakkas said, I think many yakkas said, we don't accept what you say here because we want to kill, we want to steal, we are sexually misbehaving, we are lying, we are taking food beverages not to make a sound judge. So, so yakkas are devas, right? They are devas. There are many devas who are not Buddhist devas. So don't think that all the devas are very kind beings. Huh? There are many uh, un-Buddhist devas. So uh, the sutta says these devas can affect the people. So that is why uh, we have to learn atanati. So I'm, I'm trying to say that sila is not practiced by everybody, but if you practice it, understand the extreme levels and never become intoxicated.